Welcome back everyone, I'm Genevieve Moongarden, and here is a bundle about to be officially released, which is the Peppergrass Glen bundle. And a lot of people were wondering, what in the world is this Peppergrass thing? I've never heard of this. Uh, it is a very, very small section in Chrysalis, and it's part of Lastwood. So the one good look that we have of it is from the bundle gift card, game card that's from GameStop. And so I'm gonna show you around this area because I found quite a few uh, things that look just like what's in the card and maybe this will be what's in this bundle coming out on May 2nd. I was able to pre-order this. Uh, they don't give you the code until the second, so I'll have to wait until then to actually see it, but I'll show you what they have in here that is basically exactly like the house. So let's check it out. So first off, if you wanna see this area yourself and you have access to the last wooden chrysalis, it's not the first area that you go to with all the burnt stuff. It's the one in the back. So it's got the place where all the uh, mouse and hamster gerbil looking things are back here. It's where the teleporter is when you teleport to the last wood. And then once you go through a secret area, they have the waterfalls and the weird treehouse area. All right, so this is what it looks like our house is going to be looking like. It's got these uh, toadstool fungus things on top of it and the cool hobbity mouse hamster thingy doors. Now there's a couple of these that you can go into, so let's check that out. I doubt they'll have it, but it would be really cool if they had uh, this little house here. I love this, that these blocks are kind of holding up that giant fungus, and I don't know, I just thought this one looked really, really cool. I think we have our own little crafting station, but as I said, I highly doubt that we're going to have this one in our house, but it would still be super awesome. So this is the interior of one of the houses. Hopefully we'll get like a bigger version of this. That would be kind of cool. Um, this one in particular is a forge, obviously, because he's got his uh, blown glass things that he's making, which is really awesome. But I like the lantern that's in here. You know, it just really looks used and lived in. I, I love this. So if we have something similar to this, that will be really awesome. Although putting stuff on the walls will really stink because, you know, they're rounded. So. Maybe they'll be like a uh, secret area. And so far, this is the only building here in Peppergrass Nook that we can go into. Now the second part over here, it's not really a secret because I mean, you need to go here for the quest, but it looks like you can't go anywhere else until you go through these lovely bushes, thingies, whatever's here. And it takes you on this little side path back to, yeah, it's really slow without my mount, oops. And then takes you back to this glorious waterfall that's here. And oh my goodness, lo and behold, this is the exact waterfall that is in the picture on the game card. So clearly we're going to have something like this in the house, if not this exact thing. I hope it has all these really colorful trees, though. I love the pinks and the oranges. They're gorgeous. And these curly ferns, they're awesome as well. So looking at the game card again and zooming in on it, there's definitely two buildings here because there's the main house that you can see right behind the wizard. And then there's another one which has a door in the back. But if you look even further in the back, you see another one of those big purple fungus thingies. And those are usually growing on the houses. So we'll see, maybe there's more than two buildings in this one. It will be very interesting to see what we get. Uh, mostly I see grasses in here though. I don't really see any of those really awesome ferns. Uh, I can't wait to see this poodle moth. It's funny that it's a giant mount because if you have seen a poodle moth, uh, they kind of just fit on your fingertip. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're pretty tiny. So I'm hoping that we have fishing in this house. I hope that there is really cool uh, secret areas for this house. Um, not sure if there's an area like this where you go behind the waterfall. That would be awesome. I mean, usually in these houses, we do have a nice, you know, behind the waterfall area. I can't wait to check it out and see if there's any uh, secret areas. Also in the background, it looks like we can go on top maybe of these mountains because they're kind of angled. I would love to be able to go up to the top of the waterfall and maybe fish up there. It actually looks more green and grassy than this one, so we'll see. And in the picture, I see the orange leafed trees, but I don't see any of these pink ones. So um, yeah, hopefully. Anyhow, in this back area over here, this is some more uh, areas where the, uh, the sugar gliders, where they live. <gasps> Holy moly, I never noticed that they're like literally leaping from house to house. What? 
Anyhow, it would be fantastic if this part right here was included in this house. Probably not. Oh my gosh, look at him leaping over there. <gasps> look, there he goes. Whee! Oh my god. Whee! Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. We need some lemurs leaping. Leaping lemurs! And there it goes. Whee! Oh my god. Who knew? Who knew? But hey, if you want to know where the sugar gliders live, there you go. But, you know, this is such a gorgeous spot. If this isn't included, I'll be a little sad, but, you know, not too totally shocked. But it would be cool if we had at least one small part of the house that had something to do with this one. Because it might not be Peppergrass, but it is their neighbor. Thanks so much, everyone, for checking out this video on what the Peppergrass Glen housing bundle could potentially look like. And we will see you in the next one. Bye! I want to jump like that one. That's amazing.